Hi friends and welcome to Tuesday Brain Breaks. I'm Miss Rachel and this is my lovely assistant Karina. Karina. For today's Brain Break, it's kind of a silly one. We're going to try and move ice upside down. So if you're following along, you're going to need a spoon for everybody in your house or tongs or if it's for younger kids, you could even use oven mitts, anything to make the moving of the ice a little bit more difficult. You're going to need two bowls for each person and you're gonna need some ice cubes. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move some furniture. Karina's gonna get five ice cubes because she is five years old. I have quite a few more. We are going to hang upside down on our couch and we are going to try to move the ice from one bowl into an empty bowl and to see how fast we can do this. This is fun because it helps you practice coordination and dexterity. You can make it fun by making it a race or timing it with your siblings or your parents. So let's move some furniture, let's get upside down and let's try and switcheroo some ice. <laughs> especially with my glasses on, but it was really kind of fun. And I think she beat me, but she did only have five ice cubes, so I win. You win. No, I win. I win. I win. So. Yeah. Okay, whatever, she wins. Another fun game that we played at the club, we did it in Gamers Club with Mr. Kofi this past winter, was um, melting ice. So, not gonna do it on the carpet, but on the kitchen floor would be nice. So everybody gets one ice cube and you see who can melt their ice cube the fastest. If it's a nice day out, I would recommend maybe even doing this outside. But again, it's another great way to take a brain break, step away from the computer, stop thinking about school and homework and everything and just have some fun. Bye, see you next week. My hands are so cold.